Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. So this is about using the creative power of thought. And there's so much out there about thoughts become things, and the vibration of thought, and all of this. And recently, um, and positive thinking, and so on and so forth. And recently I've been giving this quite a bit of thought, and what I've realised is it's, it's not, I mean, thoughts do become things, but it's a bit more deeper than that. It's a little bit more subtle than that, because it's about the vibration of the thoughts that you think. And it's about how the thoughts that you think make you feel. So if you're constantly looking at things that are scary in the world, and recently, in recent times, you can find a lot to be scared about. If you're watching the news all the time, and it's telling you how awful the world is, and how this is happening and that's happening, and you're filling your mind full of that, then the thoughts you'll be thinking will be around that. And the vibration of those thoughts will create fear inside of you, and you will become a fearful being. Your actions, your choices will all be based on fear. So the vibration of the thoughts that you think creates the emotions that you feel, and those emotions trigger actions that create the reality that you experience. And there's something that's very important to realise with thought, is that you cannot destroy it or stop it or make it or prevent it from happening. Thought happens. The thing that you can do when you're trying to use your thought to create is to direct it, to focus it. It's about what you fill your life full of. It's about where you choose to focus. And this word choice is, is just so critical because we all have a choice. It doesn't matter whether you're shut in a room or in a cell in a prison. You have a choice about what you fill your life full of. You have a choice about where you focus your thoughts, where you choose to go with your mind. And it's where you choose to go that changes your vibration. So you could be focusing on watching the news, which is full of fear. You could be watching um, horror movies and things like that. You could be watching things or looking for things or reading things that are uplifting and um, make you feel full of love and happiness and gratitude. You could join a gratitude group which encourages you to focus on gratitude every single day. Um, and that, and I'm going to do a video completely on gratitude, so I might have already done it. Anyway, if, it, if I have, it'll be in the notes. <laughs> because gratitude is just the most amazing thing. Um, and I realised it completely by accident. I knew gratitude was important. We all know gratitude is important. But um, it's about focusing on those things that you are grateful for that creates more things to be grateful for because it's a choice of where you focus. To use this creative power of thought, you, there are so many things that you can do. So first of all, I've spoken about focus. It's ensuring the, what you choose to focus on, what you choose to put into your, your physical space, your, your body, your mind, your soul, because that helps to create the thoughts that you think. The more positive things you put in, the more positive things that you think. So choosing what you focus on is the first and most important thing. It's also about tapping into how you feel. Because how you feel is an indicator of what you've been thinking. If you're feeling low or flat or down, it's very, very important that you look after your thoughts. That you make sure that your thoughts are coming from a positive space, from... I want to say an inspired space, um, and I've done a couple of videos on inspiration, so I'll put the and podcasts and blogs, so I'll put the links to all of that below, so that you, in the show notes, so that you can find those if you need them. But inspiration um, can only come when you allow space for that, and um, I've done something specifically on allowing space for inspiration, so I'll make sure that that's um, there's a link to that for you to follow. But we can't change the world with our thoughts. It's not like you can sit there and think positively and the world will change. What you're trying to do is you're trying to change the vibration of your being, of yourself, so that you become a catalyst for positive change in your life. And you can't do that if your thoughts are negative. So the first step is to ensure that you um, are vibrating in a positive space. And you do that by making sure that your focus 
is on things that make you feel good. The problem that we have in this world is that when something is not going well, our mind worries on it and it plays on it and it goes on and on and on in a loop. And this creates a very negative feeling within you that can grow and grow and grow. The thing is, is to catch yourself when you have that negative niggle. And it's not to say to you ignore it. As I've said before, um, accounts is not my favourite thing. But I know that if I ignore them, it becomes bigger and bigger. But I don't sit there and worry about it and allow myself to dwell on it. Because allowing myself to dwell on it is not going to change it. I have a day every month that I sit down and I do my accounts. And I don't think about it between then and then. I know that's when I do it and I sit down and I do it. I know that me thinking negatively about it is not going to change the fact that I have to do it. It's not going to alter the accounts or suddenly make them wonderful. But by focusing on other stuff that makes me feel good for the rest of the time, it's not weighing me down like the whole month until I have to do it again. And this is really what I'm meaning, is not to ignore the things. It's not about think positively and everything will be fine and all the horrible stuff will sort itself out. It's about being realistic as well. There is some stuff you have to deal with. Sometimes life throws us a curveball and it's feedback to say that we don't like this and we have to deal with it. But sitting there and worrying about it and creating a vibration around it that attracts more stuff like that to you and attaches you much more strongly to whatever it is that you are ne feeling negative about is only going to sort of ripple out into your world and create more disturbance than you most likely would want. So acknowledge it. Decide what you're going to do about it and then let it go. Let it go and refocus and recalibrate and up your vibration so that you're sitting there high again and vibrating in the space that you really want to be vibrating in. Because then when you engage with life, it's just been a minor blip and not a huge massive tsunami that's blown your whole life out of the water. And the reason I'm sharing this is that quite, quite often we have been led to believe that we can create change through our thoughts. And change does not happen through your thoughts. Change happens through the action you take from your thoughts. But you have to be so careful about the thoughts that you think. Because they do create the emotion and they do create the action. So it is very, very important that you look after what you think about, what you focus on. Um, because that will create the vibration, the energy and the action. I hope it's been a little bit muddled, a little bit all over the place, but I hope there's been some little grains of truth in what I've shared today that you can take away and make sense of. Um, maybe as I sit and ponder it a little bit more, I'll find a better way to say it and I'll create another um, little insight in for, uh, for, for you into it. If you've enjoyed this, I do appreciate your likes, your subscriptions and your comments and your interaction. Um, and also if you want to share it, that would be phenomenal and wonderful. Um, I also have lots of resources as well as a number of free courses, one on the evolution of self, one on raising your vibration, which is what I've spoken quite a lot about in here, um, and other paid courses and other things on my website, which you can go and have a look at at www.britannia.com, B-R-I-T-T-T-A-N-Y-A.com. And so much love from me to you. Bye-bye.